Hey everybody, it's John DiPietro, and Jeff. it is Saturday, we're here with Jeff, <laughs> and we're at Majors RV on Cranberry Highway, is that the right word? No, actually, John, it's MacArthur Boulevard. MacArthur Boulevard. Which you're oh, close, well. though. <laughs> but the cranberries are right down the highway, either way. We're on the Cape. We're just, actually, just over the bridge on the Cape, and we're talking with Jeff, and we're here at the Fall Spectacular at Majors. Jeff, uh, tell us what this event is all about, because it's pretty exciting. Well, John, first I'd like to introduce my staff. Okay. No, nothing happens here without these guys. Okay. Uh, I'm Suzanne. Hi, I'm Jill. Hi, I'm Jerry. Jerry, okay. Jerry, give us, give us a. Hi, I'm Jerry. Hi, I'm Jerry. There we go. Because, because you did great, and uh, and you all did good. So, Jeff, we, we let's go back to the wheel in just a minute. As I well, see that, we could have had uh, cinema uh, with me falling down. That would have been good. Yeah, but what? What a minute. What about entertaining? What entertaining? Okay, yeah. We'll add some action to this video. Yeah. On the entertainment. So yes. the, the sign over here says Fall, fall Spectacular. It's but, our 20th Fall Spectacular, John. Uh, basically, everything in the store is 20, I'm sorry, 10 to 40% off. How depending works, upon? Depending upon our <laughs> wheel of savings. Okay. Basically, how it works, the wheel of savings, it's all color-coded, John. The customer's going to make their purchase. I'm going to spin the wheel. Do, do you sing like the Jeopardy theme song during this no, time? Nobody wants to hear me sing, trust me. No? Okay. Jill, maybe Jeff, n d not. No. Oh, we, okay. we just missed on 40%, but we're on light green. It would have been 10% off. Everything on the wheel, it's all color-coded. It ranges anywhere from 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, or 40% off. That's off of your entire purchase. Okay. Everything in stock. So the way it works is people come in and shop just like their regular shop shopper. Shop to a drop. Okay, shop to a drop. <laughs> and then as they go to the register here. Yep, they pile up their, 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 their goodies. Yep. They'll spin the wheel, whatever they get. The cashier, Suzanne, in this case, will give them their percentage off, and away they go. So you could save a considerable amount of money. Oh, you, absolutely. We had a couple in here a couple of years ago, a couple of working stiffs, young child, had, had a classy motorhome, needed a bunch of stuff, must have had two, three thousand dollars worth of product up on the, on the shelf. Their little, little four-year-old spun it, landed right on the black, everything they had was 40% 40 off. 40% off. Oh so yeah, absolutely. You saw a happy family leaving. Yeah, exactly. That's family. where the term happy campers come from. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with that happy camper stuff that you probably got down in aisle uh, yeah, they were happy. 9A, Dave, huh? Dave, not so much. <laughs> Dave, not so much. Okay, so um, virtually the whole, let's just get, let's get the legal stuff here. It's virtually the whole store. I mean, there's yeah. probably a couple items that, yeah, the that only, aren't. The only exception would be something that's already on sale okay. will be eligible for that. But that's literally, that, that, that's, that's not a whole okay. lot. Virtually and, everything in stock. And this store has got, um, John, I like to you say, know, virtually. How this many, place has got everything. How many SKUs you got in this store? How, let's use some. Joe, how many SKUs do we have on the top of your head? At least 8 to 10,000. 10,000, okay, I'd say even more because Possibly. you got, just looking at that wall over here, look at the wall of nuts and bolts. Um, brass fittings, brass fittings, water so, fittings, propane fittings. Okay, so why is this the right time now uh, to uh, consider purchasing? Because people say, oh, we're putting it away for the winter, but that's, well, that's it's, not the case at all. No, no, it really isn't. For starters, it's still October, it's still very, very nice weather. Uh, campgrounds are still opening. Yeah, some of them are wrapping up, but you've got people that are heading down, maybe heading down south either for the winter or there's always a, uh, a school break that people are, are, are leaving on. So there's always something to, to have. Okay. There'll be it outside here. We've got a number of different things from chairs, recliners. Don't forget my big giant chair. Oh. Wow. That is something. <laughs> okay. Now Look at that's that. a chair, John. Okay. <laughs> American flag. Okay. So campers are, are middle Americans. Absolutely. They're, they love America. And with a flag like that, you can have, uh, you can be, you can be even 10 pounds overweight and still fit in that chair. <laughs> 10 or 20 anyway, John. Okay. Not going to suggest it. So let's, uh, can we get the sign? I don't think the sign is right over there, but we're right on MacArthur. Right on MacArthur Boulevard. We're a half a mile from the Bourne Bridge on 28 South, which is also MacArthur Boulevard. Okay, so whether you're coming from Boston, it's an hour. If you come from Providence, it's an hour. Absolutely, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a short run. It's right off the highway. Okay. There's no back roads. And we're gonna be with you all weekend, all day today. Absolutely. And uh, we're gonna have different specials every half hour. Absolutely. So um, let's do this. Let's um, see, well, there's wine guard stuff over there. We've got wine guard here. Um, a wide of what they have to offer. This isn't by all means 
Come on over, Mike. Come on. <laughs> Mike is our wine guard rep. He does a fantastic job of supporting us. And he, very, very knowledgeable about all things wine guards. But he's not whining. No, never heard no. of wine yet. Never no. Heard wine yet. Not yet. Okay. So we got this, and you'll answer any questions, right, Mike? I mean, Absolutely. A lot of people, you know, might be intimidated or confused, but it's easier than ever to get your setup. Very easy to get setups. Uh, wine guards come out with a lot of unique products now. We've got uh, the Wi-Fi Connect, so you can actually get into the Wi-Fi part of the uh, camping at the campgrounds. We okay. have the satellites. We have the TV. Uh, obviously, I've got the dish going right now for the people and I, to walk You know by. what? I was absolutely amazed. I don't know if you see it through here on, uh, on Facebook, but I mentioned to Dave how crystal clear that uh, that reception is. I also want to show people that, look, at you already got a pretty good number of customers here already, and I know it's going to be crazy for the next few I've days. I've been busy. And um, so we'll tell people we're at uh, Majors RV. Yep, Come 150, on down. 150 MacArthur Boulevard in Bourne, half a mile from the Bourne Bridge, uh, right-hand side, hop, skip, and a jump. And should they say, tell them Bob Zagami sent you? Probably not. <laughs> with that being said, we'll be back at about 1230 with our next episode of is Jeff still working here? <laughs> Thanks, John. Hey, everybody. It's John DePietro on behalf of the New England RV Dealers Association. We are at Majors RV on MacArthur Boulevard. I want to make sure I get the address right. We're talking with Jeff. and uh, hey, Jeff, John. It's uh, Columbus Day. And you know what? you got units. you got product here for all year long. But uh, as much as sometimes we try to deny it in New England. Uh, winter's still coming and there are preps that you have to make in order to uh, have a fun camping season next year. Uh, there sure are, John. There's, there's a couple of things. The start is winterizing is a dirty word. People hear winterizing, they think, oh, put antifreeze through my water lines and I'm all set. It's just not the case. There's a number of different steps that need to be taken to prepare your RV for long-term winter storage. Uh, one of the things that people may want to think, consider is covering the RV. Um, pine pitch is exceedingly difficult. Anybody who has had pine pitch on the roof of their RV knows what a hassle it is to get off. The cover will help prevent getting the pine pitch on the roof of your RV. Okay, but Jeff, um, can I just go to uh, a big box store and got, buy one of those big blue tarps? You can. You'll be very disappointed come springtime. Well, why? I've saved some money. Yeah, you'll save, you'll save a lot of money, but you'll, you'll, you'll pay for that in blood, sweat, and tears in the spring. What, what do you mean by that? Those covers, uh, John, they're not breathable. So what they're going to what, do... What, is define gonna, breathing, Jeff, because... You want to exchange the air in between the camper and the outside air. You want that, you want that temperature to be as close as possible. When you get a temperature temperature difference, you'll get some condensation. And at that point in time, you get condensation on the roof and on the side of your RV. It's just a breeding ground for mold, mold. mildew. Uh. You uncover it, and you've got, you, you've got a mess on your hands in the springtime. So you put it away in the fall, and it's clean, and you take it out in the spring, and it's green. Yeah, it's green, and it's And you nasty. didn't even get a paint job. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, the, 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 and the covers we carry, they're all breathable. They're exchanging, allowing that exchange of air inside and outside to help prevent that condensation that build up on the, on the, on the rake. Okay. The cover's so, also keeping any branches from doing damage on the roof, any of the covers, or what have you. Okay, in the next aisle you mentioned there was something that was pretty well, important actually, as well. Well, actually, I've also got a little experiment going on here. For those of you with a weak heart, you may want to, or a weak stomach, you may want to turn away. Um, inside here, I've got an aquarium that's being separated. I've got some fruits and some vegetables and some bread. You, you just have a little bit of moisture in there, right? Yeah, yeah well, actually, that's... Oh, it's that's an a, actual aquarium. That's... Oh, yeah, this, oh. this is actually the stuff breaking down. You can see the mold starting to form on it, what have you. This side, if you'll see, there's absolutely nothing growing. No mold, no nothing. What's the difference? It's a chlorine dioxide oh, that bag, bag that's in here. It's releasing chlorine dioxide gas. The chlorine dioxide gas is killing all the mold and mildew spores. It's actually preventing the mold from, from growing. So in the spring, when you open up your RV, it's killing germs, mold, mildew. You open up the, the camper in the spring, and it smells just like the, just, just the way like you put it away in the fall. Yeah, and I think it's important to point out that uh, mold and mildew, even though they're ugly, but they have health implications oh, as well, long-term health implications. Long-term long health uh, uh, issues with the black mold, and anybody who's ever had anything with that, okay. it's, a, it's a terrible respiratory problem. So what, what kind of products do you have for that? Yeah, for, for the mold, it, basically it's, it's, it's called Marine Magic comes in a little pouch, just going to hang That's these it. up inside, 
It's going to smell like the city pool. That's the, that's actually the chlorine, chlorine dioxide right? okay. that's killing the mold and mildew spores. In addition to the mold and mildew, a lot of customers have got issues with rodents, mice, and what have you. Okay. Um, we want to solve doing? that issue. <laughs> Good. I need camera shy. <laughs> When he said rodents, he, he was not yeah, referring yeah, to you, sir. No. Nah. I'm going to help keep the, the mice and the rodents out. I've got a couple of different products that are going to be doing that. It actually keeps the mice out of the camper from doing some real serious damage. Uh, not only that, it's also a, sanitar a sanitation thing, having the moose or the mice droppings. And if you let everywhere. those mice go, they could grow into moose. Oh, yeah. They, 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 by the amount of droppings, you'll think you had a moose. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we want to keep the mice out. We've got the damp rid to keep the moisture level down inside the RV. We've got some pumpkin spice flavored antifreeze. No, <laughs> pumpkin spice, yeah, okay. But wait, hold on a second. Sure, John. I think it's important to say that you don't have a mouse in your RV. You have mice. Mice don't, mouses don't travel by <laughs> no. solo. No, no, they don't. If you, if you see one, he's, he's got brothers, sisters, parents, they, they, you have more than one. I've never seen just a mouse in a camper. Okay. Uh, and they breed quickly. Okay. They breed quickly. Yep. So uh, you've got those products there, damp red. And how do you how do you um, distribute that throughout the unit? Well, the the snip and stop is there uh, pouches in in here. You're just going to distribute it evenly inside the camper, and it's going to keep the uh, the mice out. Doing the same thing with the fresh cab. Doing the same thing. Open up. There's a pouch in there. You can evenly distribute it inside the camper to, dr to keep the mice out is what it is. Okay. So, um, go ahead. Also, folks, just so that you know, today and tomorrow, um, all of these products that we've talked about, in addition to everything in the store, is 10 to 40% off part of our fall spectacular. And how is it again for those of us that missed, for those of us that missed the sure, early John. show? I've got the wheel But we got to do this every time. This is how you say, it's right? all color-coded. Yep. Depending on what color you wind up on, it will dictate whether you're getting 10, 15, 20, 25, or 40 percent. Off. Oh, so the color? In this case, it is orange. In orange, this would have been 10 percent off. Okay. And that's off, off the entire product, the exception being anything that's already on sale. Uh, but yeah, to over 10,000 SKUs, it's all 10 to, 10 to 40 percent off. Okay. So tell us where we're located. At 150 MacArthur Boulevard in Bourne. And let me ask you a question for, the, for our next segment at sure, 1 o'clock. Uh, I see several uh, folks that are on here have pets, especially dogs. Can you take us through your pet department and uh, any of the supplies that you have sure, uh, sure. for pets? You don't have to show us now, but we can, well, you can do that, we can do that next God, time absolutely. around. We'll be talking about RVing and dogs <laughs> on our next This Afternoon with Jeff at 1 o'clock. Awesome. Thanks, John. Hey everybody, it's John DiPietro for the New England RV Dealers Association. And I am down at Majors RV. It's a major place. And we are in Cape Cod. And I just want to show you the size of their service department here because it's pretty amazing. They service all makes and models. They do not sell motorhomes here. So you're not going to be uh, just dealing with one brand, but whatever brand that you're interested in. They can service it for you. I see a, a Winnebago product over there. I see a, a fifth wheel. I see a travel trailer. And, um, you know, uh, what do we got? Six, six doors of service and uh, certified techs that know their stuff. So uh, there's so much here at Majors as I just came out of the store there a moment ago. Um, but there's something over here that I want to show you that is pretty interesting because <coughs> many times... You have an issue with your RV that it needs to be put up on a lift. And uh, they're hard to find because there, there aren't that many of them in New England. A lot of work is done by techs laying on their back. But here's an amazing lift that you can see it's portable. They can take this motorhome up, lift it, work on it, whatever the issue is. They can get right under there and take a look right at Take a look right at it, see what the issue is. So um, if you've got one that needs some service, 
down by the Cape, or obviously they serve people from all over New England, you can um, have majors do the work on it, especially if it's a major repair. Here's a pretty new unit. I don't know what they're doing. It's a Tiffin unit, so it's made in Red Bay, Alabama. And all their units say Red Bay, Alabama. Um, but uh, Majors is the place, and it's on MacArthur Boulevard, just over the bridge uh, onto Cape Cod. Um, tons of campgrounds nearby, but even if you don't live at the Cape, you may want to consider Majors. Uh, family owned, been around for quite a long time. So on our next stop, we're going up on the hill because um, many times you want to have your unit put away for the winter. Um, and why not have it stored at Cape Cod where the, we the weather is a little bit better than um, so many other parts of New England. So from Cape Cod, from Majors RV, it's John DiPietro on behalf of the New England RV Dealers Association saying, let's go camping. Hey everybody, it's John DiPietro. I'm at Majors RV. We're in Bourne. We're at MacArthur Boulevard. And I'm looking at a lot of units out here. However, I'm trying to figure out what's going on because Majors doesn't sell RVs. And maybe Jeff <laughs> can tell me what's going on. Hey, basically, John, this is uh, this area right here is for the work that we're doing. Because we're obviously the service center that, 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 that we need to put the RVs when they're done service or we're waiting for parts. Yeah. And the rest of all of these RVs is here for storage. Storage. Yeah, we do storage here. It's a, as you can see, it's an all paved. It's a secured lot. It's surrounded with uh, with a fence, with barbed wire on top. When we leave, the whole place gets buttoned down tighter than a drum. Um, we've got about a little over two acres, about two and a half acres of uh, storage that we provide for our customers. And Jeff, it's important to be. Um, it, it's important to not store your unit for the winter on grass. Tell us why. A couple of reasons, John. The, the, one of the big reasons is, and we talked about this in an earlier podcast, but uh, mice. Uh, mice absolutely just love crawling through that grass and finding a nice home, getting up in there. And I don't care who makes your RV, a mouse can get inside. They get, they'll find a hole. Oh, they will yep. find a hole, I promise you that, absolutely. Um, the, the other reason is, is sitting in there, you're, it's going to get muddy, it's going to get a mess, you're going to be in and out of your RV, hopefully during yep. the winter season, checking on it and what have you. Uh, here, as I said, it's, it's all paved, there's no trees hanging over anything, uh, it's safe, it's secure, yeah, it's, a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice facility as you can see. Okay, so uh, as you said, there is, there is a barbed wire fence all the way around. And you said checking fence. on your facility during the winter. Yes. Um, will you allow someone who... Uh, Rent storage from you during the during the season to access to their oh, unit. Oh, absolutely! During no, normal business hours, okay. Tuesday through Saturday, nine to five thirty, they're more than welcome to, to to come in, take a look at it, make sure that you know we don't have any uh, roof leaks in the middle of January. Well, just for peace of mind, that's peace good. Of mind. Absolutely, John. Absolutely. Okay, so um, for the people that would say, um, you know, I'm going to put mine in my backyard and just I'm going to uh, one of those box stores and buy a big blue tarp. Uh, what, what's the diff Why would they come here instead of doing that? Well, the blue tarp is going to cause a lot of problems, John. The blue tarp is not going to allow the air to exchange between the RV and the outside air. What will happen is it'll trap moisture inside, uh, on, on top of that RV and along the side of the RV. Once you get moisture in there, the, the mold, the mildew, it's a green-black mess in the spring when you take that blue tarp off. Okay. So if you're an RV newbie, you're a person who's, you know what, this, you've, you bought your unit, and it's your first season, um, you know, to put it in storage. What are a couple of the tips that you should keep in mind? Well, like I said, we're gonna, you need to think about whether you want to cover, whether it's uh, over uh, pine trees with the pine pitch, the branches coming down, what have you. You also want to keep in mind it needs to be winter prepped, not just winterized. And when people think winterizing, they're thinking just pushing antifreeze through the line and I'm done. No, there's more to it as far as getting that RV ready for the winter prep. We need to inspect our roofs. We need to take a look at any cracks, um, any any protrusion coming through the roof. Make sure that we're not having any leaks. Check your seams up on your roof. You want to get your roof ready for the winter. And then the inside, you need to con consider uh, rodent control, um, controlling the mold and the mildew, uh, moisture control. Yeah. So there are a number of different things for, to, to prep the RV for okay. the winter. And I'm guessing, although I'm not a meteorologist and I don't play one on TV, but <laughs> The winters at Cape Cod, for some reason, because of the water nearby, 
are much more mild than they are in interior New England. Yeah, we, we frequently will wind up with, with, with an inch or two of rain in Boston, shoveling, uh, shoveling out two, three feet of, uh, of snow. Although, of course, that's been an exception the last couple of years. But generally speaking, through the years, yeah, we're, we're, we're generally a couple of degrees warmer than, uh, than interior, absolutely. Okay. And I see a lot of units that are already here, but you still have room? Oh, we got plenty of room, John. Yeah. So how can people find out more, Jeff? Very, very simple. You can either call our service department, 508-759-2833, uh, uh, or you can certainly visit, uh, visit us on the web, majorsrv.com. Okay, and this weekend's the big fall spectacular. Absolutely. Our, our, our 20th fall spectacular, everything in stock is going to be 10 to 40% off. That's everything that we have in stock. Great. 10,000 SKUs. Perfect, buddy. Hey, thanks, John. Thanks so much. Hey, everybody. It's John DiPietro for the New England RV Dealers Association. We are at Majors RV on MacArthur Boulevard in Bourne. And uh, it's their fall spectacular. You've already met Jeff. And now we're talking to Mike. Mike is a wine guard rep. And, uh, Mike, let's simplify um, TV watching because so many people think that there's so much science involved with it. But... Uh, not the case at all. No. Right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Exactly. I mean, as far as, uh, you know, folks that go to these campgrounds or they go to NASCAR races and, you know, uh, events like that, uh, most everybody likes to watch their pre-NASCAR shows or their football pre-shows and pre stuff shows, and yeah. pre-game shows and they're out tailgating in the motorhome. Then they can yell at the announcers. They can yell at the announcers and all that stuff and... Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's as simple as hooking up a portable satellite. That's the WineGuard Pathway X, X2, um, which is a dish-only satellite system. Right now, that satellite antenna is that satellite antenna is pointing to the uh, satellite 72, which was shot up into the sky for us folks that live up here in the Northeast, because uh, a lot of times we have problems with. Uh, Getting a satellite clouds signal up here, kind of thing. not just the clouds, but your satellites all revolve around the equator, and the further north you go, the closer to the equator oh, the okay. satellites come. So so does it speak with a Boston accent? Well, it could. It could, around this area. But as you <laughs> see, I mean, we got the satellites, you've got the portable tripods, so you can put the tripods anywhere you need to move it, so you can get the satellite signal. We also make a uh, window mount. You hang it right out of your hang RV it right window. Out of the, uh, off the window. We also make uh, a ladder mount, so you can put these okay. portables anywhere you want and uh, able to watch TV. Obviously, like I said, they're with the dish pay as you go system. Now, what do you, define the pay as you go system because I wasn't aware of that before. Yep. On the pay as you go, basically, what Dish is doing is they have a. Uh, Different packages. Packages start at thirty-four ninety-nine, which everybody's seen the uh, the flex pay as you go. Why pay for what you don't watch? Pay for what you do watch. So you can actually make your own starter with uh, fifty channels, and then you can add your own channels in to that package as well. And it goes all the way up to ninety-four ninety-nine. So that's like the deluxe. Exactly. And basically, what the customers are going to do is they're going to uh, when they buy the system, they're going to call up Dish. They're going to call the 800 number, and they're going to get the the Wally receiver, which is that one right there, activated. Wally, right? Let's go over and see that. Yep. Looks like a regular. Uh, yep. So Gives you the phone number right there to call to activate. Once they've uh, called up, they're going to ask them what what plan they want, and they're going to give them their plan. They're going to give them their information. And basically, uh, they pay every 30 days. So if you're camping for three months, you pay for one, two, three months, every 30 days. Every 30 and, days. And uh, at the end of the summer, you decide you're all done. You just uh, call them up, discontinue the service, and uh, following year, you call them back up. You want to restart it, you're going to give your account number, and they'll restart your... Uh, your programming all over again and they'll ask you do you want the same package or do you want the new package or uh, what package would you like okay so you know the rule of thumb in broadcasting is uh, whenever you're ready to broadcast there's always a diesel truck that goes by which, absolutely which just did but uh, one of the big issues that people have with campgrounds is not good internet because uh, even though they want to get away from it, they want to still stay connected when they exactly. want to. Oh, yeah. So uh, how do we solve that because uh, yep. you have another well, issue? Well, WineGuard came out with the Wi-Fi Connect. It's a long-range, high-performance Wi-Fi extender. So if there's a Wi-Fi signal 
within two miles of these antennas, um, it'll definitely pick up the signal. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to connect into the service through your browser. You're going to hit the scan for Wi-Fi. Yeah. And we're going to scan here, see what they come up with. And as you can see, all the different Wi-Fi's that are available in this area. And you can see Bayview right down here, which is a campground, which is about a mile down the road right now. You're grabbing that. So I'm grabbing a campground from a dealer's lot. <laughs> right. So, but if you're in the campground, obviously it's going to be a stronger signal. And uh, so you can actually take a weak signal in the campground and you can amplify that signal. Plus, WineGuard also manufactures their own routers. So we make a 1750 high-speed router. That router also has six MIMO antennas built inside of it, which means you can run six different devices off of this one router. Okay. And uh, it also has about a 200-foot range as far as uh, broadcasting a signal outside of the camper. So okay. if you want to go sit out by the campfire and check your emails, you want to sit out underneath the awning and use your Kindle and read a book, you can do all do that. that as well. Folks, if you just joined us, we're talking with Mike. Mike is from Weingard, and we're down at uh, Majors RV on MacArthur Boulevard in Bourne, Massachusetts, just over the uh, Bourne Bridge in, in Cape Cod. Uh, Mike, you were telling us about this unit here, this uh, Weingard Road Trip 4. Tell us what that is, yep. you showed us the two before. Yep, Weingard Road Trip Mission, what that is, is uh, most of the customers that will put this on usually goes on a motorhome. Uh, it's an in-motion satellite system. That's so a permanent mount. On that's the... a permanent mount that you're going to permanently mount on your roof. And like I said, it's an in-motion satellite. So for those people that want to watch TV as they're going down the highway, they can. Nice thing about this one, it'll do direct TV. It'll do dish. And for our Canadian friends up there, it'll also do bell. Okay. And all of the, everything that we've seen here is all available to be installed professionally here at Majors, right? Exactly, exactly. They have the best uh, best techs out here on uh, on the Cape. Okay, so we're at Majors. It's the Fall Spectacular. Uh, you've been watching people spin that wheel inside, right? Oh, yeah. And they're pretty happy when they get uh, 20, 30, 40 percent off. Exactly, especially when they're on the high dollar items. <laughs> exactly, which is included as well. <laughs> which is included. So, that's the story. We're talking to Mike, and uh, we are at Majors, and um, it's a Majors... A major sale and um, so it happens all Columbus Day weekend it's at Majors RV Cape Cod uh, Mike says see you later everybody be good everybody see you next tomorrow everybody it's John DePietro I am at uh, Majors RV somewhere here <laughs> I'm at Majors RV Center on Cape Cod there's the sign and uh, here's the building there. So when you see it, when you go by, it's over there. Why is this thing doing this to me? <laughs> I know it. <laughs> so there's Major's RV when you see it from the highway. But then when you come by, I've done something wrong here, folks. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. So. It's our last video during our time here. Jeff is up there. Jeff, you're standing on a trailer. This isn't just a trailer, John. This is a trailer. This is a heavy-duty equipment trailer. Uh, it's all galvanized. The rims are galvanized. The axles are galvanized. The frame is galvanized. This is a 14,000-pound uh, trailer. Uh, Bobcat trailer, um, heavy equipment, 20-foot deck, 4-foot dovetail. Um, brand new to Major's RV. We just started carrying these. We actually love these trailers. Okay, so what would you use these for again? Bobcat, heavy equipment, uh, those kinds of things, that John. So really, this is not part, I mean, it's like an extension of the RV thing, but it really doesn't have RV capability. No, no, it's, it's really, this is more of a sideline for us, John, in addition to doing parts and accessories, which is obviously in a core of our business. There's a niche out there that really not a lot of people are carrying these kinds of trailers. And I don't have just this heavy equipment trailer. I've got some uh, lighter duty utility trailers as well. Okay, you stay in the front of me because we need you for the sound. 
Okay. So here's another trailer that we have in stock, John, as you can see. This is a 5x8 utility trailer. Again, all galvanized, the frame's all galvanized, the axle's galvanized, the deck is pressure treated, 2x6s, got the galvanized gates. Okay, define galvanized. Galvanized is the process of taking steel after the construction has been put together. The weld's already on, so taking that steel and actually dipping it into a chemical component that bonds itself to the steel basically prevents it from rusting. Okay, so so if you're going to use it in the wintertime in New England, you got road salt to deal with, and this is like a deterrent. Well, it's not even just road salt, uh, uh, John. Down here on the Cape, when it's foggy and it's moist, um, it's salt. Okay, it's salty. And it, it, it okay. just eats. Okay, so we got one more down there. Yep. And then another littler one over there, but uh... so you can see our building over there, Majors RV. You can see MacArthur Boulevard. All these people are going to the cave. Let's see if they wave to us. They're not waving. No, no, they're waving. Uh, they wave. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so this is a six and a half foot tent. And a half foot by 10 trailer done as well. Again, the construction is all the same on the trailer, all galvanized. This has got the A frame front, able to cable to carry a lot more weight. Uh, galvanized gates, pressure treated deck. This is a six and a half foot by 10 foot with the wood sides. With the wood sides, okay. So this would be like a landscape guy that. Uh... Landscape guy, uh, yeah. It, even your, your, your homeowner who wants to take a uh, riding lawnmower to mow their in laws. Coming into the season with the snow, you're going to put a snow blower on, take it to your neighbors, your 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 parents, your in-laws, and what have you. Yeah. Okay. So roughly, Jeff, what uh, what are we talking on pricing on this? This trailer right here is around twenty-one ninety-nine. Okay. So let's be let's be perfectly honest here. They sell these at uh, those big box stores. Kinda. Uh, kinda. Um, talk yes, about they do. The, talk they, they, about they, the difference. They do have them there. The big box stores are carrying a straight steel. A trailer and which might be fine in Arizona in a dry climate as, our, as we were talking earlier down here with the salt and what have you they're really three four five season trailers at most these are lifetime trailers okay so that's it that's important to see uh, I, I think a lot of these trailers and stuff when they're brand new they all look great they all look great don't they but check them out in three four years and see what you got not left. so much uh, it's, again like especially the I mean we have a house at Cape Cod and um, the metal down here lasts differently than it does in Central America. Oh, yeah. No, the salt air does one thing and one thing only, and it, and it eats. Now, I've okay. got one other trailer, John. Yeah. Um, again, it's all galvanized. That's all we carry. It's a little bit more, less of a, of a, of a no-frills trailer. No sides, no yeah. gates. Just straight flatbed. Customer wants, it has the state pockets. He can build his own sides. He can do what he wants with this trailer. Okay, and... Um, this trailer's going to run for twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. dollars Yep. And again, they're all available at uh, Majors RV. Well, look at we ended it perfectly because we got our sign right in back. John, you're good. Um, 150 MacArthur Boulevard. This weekend, today, and tomorrow, we've got everything in stock. Unfortunately, the trailers are excluded from that sale, but everything that we have in stock is 10 to 40 percent off using our wheel of savings. Okay. That's and today, again, and tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow's the last day, folks. We're located on that busy highway, 150 MacArthur Boulevard. Easy off the uh, off the Bourne Bridge. Right over the Bourne Bridge, heading towards Falmouth, half a mile on the right hand side. Not even at the Rotary at the Air Force Base. Nope. nope. For that. Okay, Jeff. John, thank you very much. Thank you.